Hi, and welcome back to Mudslides with Murphy. On this episode, I have three major announcements, and really the first announcement is, this is my last episode of Mudslides with Murphy. I know, it's really sad, but in order to help me celebrate, we're going to go down Murphy's Mount Hermon memory lane. And I've invited several people to come and help me walk through all of this and actually help me build the perfect mudslide. Are you lactose intolerant as well? No, I just... My family will pay for it later. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Perfect. I think my favorite would be when we all took a little uh, trip to Disneyland. Remember? I remember that because you almost got kicked out of the park. I, I did. I did. I did. And you got Disney police. And it's just because I'm a loving individual. Yeah. And I, I like I like big hugs. Yeah. And I, I thought Chewbacca, being a, a big guy. Would like big hugs. Would like big hugs. Yeah, but he doesn't like to be picked up apparently. Apparently not. Yeah. yeah speaking of Wookiees. Oh. You know, I happen to know that you are a Disney oh. slash uh, person, so I got you Aww. a little baby Wookie. It's a baby Wookie pin. Pin, because I like the Disney pins. Aww. I like the collecting. Reed, this is awesome. Well, you're pretty awesome, Aww. kid. You're pretty awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Mm. All right. Oh, I shouldn't have put that back in there. Uh, well, that's fine. Okay. I'll eat, I'll eat that part. Yeah, do it. I got my flu shot. All right, we'll see y'all. <laughs> Not only do you work here, I mean, because you do. I do. Uh, and not only are you my guest, but you are my friend. Yay, Yay! friendship! 2012, you might remember, the summer, you were going over real life skit. I was just a wee summer staffer. <laughs> wee little summer staffer, not little. Not no, little. I, have you ever been little? <laughs> You're like six, seven. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I've <laughs> never been. I think I was like 23 inches when I was born. Which real life is the, the one of the sketch, there's a week long sketch at Ponderosa which talks about um, people in real life situations to help students know how to respond to situations that they come up with in real life. And you're doing that classic thing where you're like grabbing shoulders and moving us around and that sort of thing. And aside from telling me that I had to be mean because it was kind of a fight scene and I, I couldn't do that. Yeah, I do remember the, yeah. the t trying to tell you. I said, yeah. Nick, find the deepest, darkest part of you and let that come out. And you were like, oh. What? Because I don't think you have what? a mean bone in your body. So that was. It might be watch. somewhere, but I have yet to find it. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's all right. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay great. If. Uh huh. If you were a Star Wars character, Ooh. not who you would like to be, okay. but who you actually are, who would you be? This is actually pretty easy for me. Really? Yeah. And mostly, it's probably why I connect with her so well, mm. is Maz Kanata. I was like, man, I... The eye thing. Yeah. Like, I want to be that person who sees things in people before they see them. Yeah. I see that in you, actually. Yeah. I do see that. Also, in the last one, she kind of had this really cool, like, fight scene, and I'm like, yeah, I think I, I possess that. I Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, Give Murphy I, a blaster. Yeah, for sure. Nick, thank you so much for coming by. I think we should toast um, memories and um, what is it? The hashtag be mean for Murphy. Be mean for Murphy. <laughs> and nailed it. Hi. Hello. I brought this for us. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? 1020. Ooh, 1020. Good classic. Uh, it is a classic. <laughs> Friends, so that you know, Misha is kind of, she is the brains behind the, even the concept of Mudslides with Murphy, and it has been super fun. It's been super, I'm just glad I get to be on this side of the table now. It's been good. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any um, memories of I have Mount Herman? A lot of memories of Mount Herman. <laughs> I have been here a few years. The memory that came to mind with you. Oh was actually before I met you. 
Um, I don't know if you know this, but I don't think I would be a photographer or where I am if it wasn't for you. I applied to be on summer staff um, in 2013, and I applied to be a counselor and a lifeguard. Um, and I got a call like, you know, a few days later and it was you online and I was in the dark room at, I was just doing film photography at the time at my college. And I was in the dark room and I was like, hello. And um, you're like, you don't know me, but I'm Murphy. And um, I'm actually part of the creative uh, services department and we are looking for photographers this summer. And I was like, well, I'm not a photographer. And you're like, well, you said you're interested. How interested are you? And I was like, I mean, I take classes. I got the job. I don't know how I got the job, um, but I got the job and um, it was... Hold on, I'll <laughs> tell you why you got the job, because your pictures were amazing. <laughs> I still, I remember you making fun of me because I wouldn't call myself a photographer, even though I was working as a photographer. And I got my first check and you sat me down and you're like, what does this say? And I was like, mm -hmm. and you're like, come on, what does it say? And I was like, photographer. And you're like, you are a paid photographer. <laughs> Call yourself a photographer. And uh, that moment, that summer, actually changed, I think, the trajectory of my life because <laughs> I went back to school and I was like, I guess I'm a photographer. Aww. Thank you. I think we, I feel like we should toast that. Toast. Toast. Cheers. You cheers. <laughs> this is a big fight. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. You're so sweet. Mm. Thank you. Aww. I did not know that story. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Glad we're friends. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I didn't cry. You didn't cry. Hi, Mer. Hi. Oh, well, I you brought sorbet. You did. Yes. Dairy free for days. Dairy free. I love it. That's awesome. And my own spoon. Oh, that's good. E Y O S. Yeah, that's right. Just yeah. don't don't Ooh, get caught yeah. on that. Do yeah. you have any that you would like to share? Well. Or any, I should say. Any that you can share. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the, that's the dilemma here. But I'm sure there are some I can, especially about you, because oh. since I'm with you, I want to talk about you. Sure. Because, you know, Ken was the program director for 40-something years. And uh, then Lisa came after he retired, and Lisa brought you. <laughs> and so Ken knows something about yes. program directing. Yes. You know, he's had a little experience. <laughs> And he could be, though he's not really a critical type, but he could look at someone new coming in and say, mm, nah, 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 nah. but he just was so thrilled, we both were, um, having been so involved in program, to have you and Lisa here, and then to see how you just brought the whole program to a whole new level. Hmm. It's really exciting for someone who's been here a long time right. and seen lots of transition, because you can kind of go, what, uh, where's it going here? But with you, it was just all so exciting and so fun and so geared to the next generation, hmm. which is really exciting for us. Ah, that's awesome. My favorite memory with Murphy. This was a doozy. It was a you doozy. You approached me and you asked me uh, this wonderful question of, do you want to create the summer opener with me? Essentially, in so many words, and I was like, the whole thing? <laughs> the whole thing? Us? The whole thing. <laughs> I'll remember it forever. Yeah, it and you did awesome. so good. It, it was, was like really fun. It was like my favorite because we had this crazy, I well, I had this crazy idea <laughs> and I feel like I suckered you into it. Yep. <laughs> um, what if we had one track that ran through an entire program? That was it. And then everybody would dance to it and it was awesome. How do you plan to have performance be a continuing piece in your life? Oh, really glad you asked that question and it actually leads me to announcement number two. For the last year, I have been workshopping with Comedy Sports in San Jose. It's a professional improv company and over Thanksgiving, they asked me to audition for their main stage and da 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 da. I got it. So now I am a main stage player at Comedy Sports so take that, my brothers, my actual physical brothers. <laughs> my hobby is no longer a hobby. To, to performing. To performing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Get out. <clears throat> Yay, welcome Heidi. Thanks Murph, how you doing? I'm good. I just announced in announcement number two, 
that I am doing now comedy sports in San Jose. <gasps> That's so fabulous. Isn't that great? Congratulations. Yeah, that was really good. I didn't know. Yeah, it's a shocker. Surprise. She's not. She not, knew. Yeah, she yeah. was the first person I called. Can I share a memory? Oh, please do. The summer of California Jones, I got <laughs> my favorite question I've ever been asked in my life, and you said, Heidi, will you be my heroine? <laughs> Which is hero, and it's amazing. And how do you say no to that kind of a question? On that note, I have something for you that I was gonna wait to give you, but then you were talking to Nick, and I thought now is probably a really great time. And so you were talking I about I can't. Um, who you are, and you are Moss. Oh. And so, <laughs> tiny Moss. Thank you. Right, she's so great. It's so great. Thank you. Oh. So wait, I have a question for you. I'm not crying. Neither am I, see, tear free, it's good. Just full hot eyes. I'm good. Question, my question yes, for you, that's question. right. I have a question for you. So with this awesome next step into yeah. comedy sports, right. does that mean that we will be continuing to do improv together? Yes, we are going to do improv together. In fact, soon, ladies and gentlemen, you will be able to come to a show of the Slapstick Murphys. They named it. I did not. <laughs> it's so perfect and beautiful though, right? I mean, you can't argue with it. It's amazing. Yes, yeah, so so we're going to venture out and uh, start our own improv team, the Slapstick Murphys, and we'll hopefully do shows soon in your area. It's gonna be all kinds of fun and <laughs> very hilarious, hopefully, most nights. Done it. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Love, love, love. I love you. Bye. Do you, do you have any stories that you would like to share? Yeah, I have two quick ones. Oh, okay. You had shared, and this was like my first time meeting you, you had shared that your dream was to have someone breathe fire it's true. for the opener. It's true. And I so, wanted someone to spit fire. Yes. This is what you wanted. And <laughs> I didn't know how to do that, but I made it my goal to learn how to do that. And so... <laughs> Two weeks before camp started, I told Andrew Summers that I learned how to fire breathe, and then I learned how to fire breathe. <laughs> and then I did it on stage for you. That's awesome, it and fun. it was like part of the most epic uh, part of that opener. It was a lot of fun. I had one dream, and I wanted someone to breathe fire. This kid did it. I'm glad you didn't die. Me too. Yeah. Speaking of dying, yeah. <laughs> second memory. Okay. Uh, we were on stage. This was uh, <laughs> Settlers of Herman. Yes, and I totally we, know what story you're gonna tell right now. We stuck pen lights up our nose right. and did dueling banjos That's right. with our noses. Because we're adults. Because this is what grown-ups do. Yes. And I told you right before going on stage that sometimes I get bloody noses. <laughs> right. And so that you needed to be prepared for that. And literally 15 minutes later, we're on stage and it gushed. There it was, was everywhere. so much blood. You were a straight up biohazard. <laughs> in front of I don't know how many family campers. It was crazy. You took the but, apron off oh, of- Oh, that's right. I took the apron off of another character. One of the cast members <laughs> and shoved her apron up on my face during the shot, like in the middle of the scene. Middle of the, of the scene, and I'm thinking, how do we finish? And you, the like ultimate pro, you just kept going. And the thing is, is in that particular scene, you had to walk out into the audience all the way around and then come back. You get back <laughs> up on stage like nothing has happened, and you finish, and then you exit. And I remember having to do like the monologue afterwards, like how do you, how do you you know how do you sum that up? It was that was by far one of my favorite. Favorite memories of all time, and I don't think the families forgot that either. I've heard a rumor. A rumor? I've heard a rumor. Uh, this is like an April Fool's joke. Uh, if it's the rumor that I think it is, it is not an April Fool's joke. And this brings me to announcement number three. And this is a big one. So, about 10 months ago, Mount Hermon approached myself and the Vice President of Strategy and said, listen, we need to look at and figure out what is the right size for the organization. As we started to look through, we realized that creative services was one of those things that might not have been the right size. So the decision was made that we needed to lay off several people. As we were talking through all of these different decisions, I had an idea. What if I were to start a company and I would invite everyone in creative services that had just been laid off to be a part of this company. 
and well, Mount Hermon liked the idea. And so as of March 1st, I will no longer be employed by Mount Hermon, but instead starting a new company called Seven Roots Creative, in which we're gonna focus on artistry and storytelling. And that way we'll be able to contract with Mount Hermon so that we can stay connected. And I'm really excited about this new adventure. And in fact, for my next guest on Mudslides with Murphy is the lead designer of Mount Hermon who has been here at Mount Hermon for 15 years. Please welcome my, uh, now obviously my friend, but now part of our new company, Josh Boots. Hi Josh, Hi. what did you bring? I brought um, Ice cream. Irish chip. <laughs> Irish chip? Something like that. All right. I had never seen it here at Mount Hermon, so oh, that's yeah, why I brought yeah, it. Yeah, perfect. Seemed like a new adventure, right? New adventures new for adventures. new things. You can put that in there. Thank you. Uh, so, so nice. Josh, you have taken the bold new step to join us on this new adventure. Yeah, to be one of the roots. To, to be one of the seven roots. <laughs> that's right. So, uh, so that's really awesome. Now, you have been at Mount Hermon for 15 years, yeah, and uh, yeah. we've gotten to work together for seven years, True. which was really fun. There was a yeah, pre-Murphy era. Yeah. yeah, there was a pre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say BM, but then you don't want to <laughs> say that. Um, <laughs> or I just did. And we tried to pull off a Ponderosa Lodge store. <laughs> in about a week before summer started. Yeah, uh, one of my worst yeah. ideas ever, but best ideas ever. Somehow she talked me into it. <laughs> I'm, I'm Tom Sawyer. And Would you like to paint this fence? <laughs> not only does she talk you into it, but she also jumps in as well. And there were times when she was on the ground, destroying her knees, putting in flooring. So about this Seven Roots thing. Yes. Um, why seven roots? That's a great. That's a great <laughs> question, Josh. Um, probably should have asked that before you signed on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, seven roots creative. Well, there's seven of us. There's seven of us that we're going to start at the ground level, and then not only that, but help brands and companies, you know, solidify their solidify their place and uh, be really awesome to their clients. Sweet. Sounds like an awesome new adventure. Yeah, I'm really excited that you're gonna come along <laughs> and play excited. with us. I'm excited too. To new adventures, new flavors, and melted ice cream. To Seven Roots. To Seven Roots. Mm. Mm, that's good. Get out. <laughs> Take us home. Okay, I thought about this and was thinking, what were those moments that I kind of had a little Murphy crush in my life? There's been a few, but I thought I'd start off with this one. I loved her driving the bus, the wagon, whatever it happened to be. She was doing the, the sprinkler or one of the things where she needed to beat and it kind of was a little off and you could tell Murphy knew, hold on, boom, boom, back on. I thought, that woman knows the meter, I love it. I'm gonna really miss that. Thanks. You know, one of the things in this new adventure that I'm really excited about is the fact that, you know, we've done everything we can to try to stay connected. How do you think that God has been preparing you over these last seven years here at Mount Hermon to step out in faith in this new endeavor? It's just really exciting to see that um, through all the struggles and through all the learning and, and through all, all the um, kind of celebrations is like God was saying, Hey, I'm, I'm this, all of these different pieces are setting you up for this exact moment. And on that note, yes. a few other people have given you a little something. I too wanted to give okay. you something because I can't stand to miss a gift. Right. So I would like to take the condiment tray from here at the fountain, sort of in recognition of the fact that you'll have a new coffee station at the office. May you never run out of condiments because there are some coffee drinkers in the group. We'd like to send this with you from Mount Hermon. Oh, Please accept this much. on behalf of the staff. Yes, and we'll make sure to um, uh, code this correctly. Yes. Let's toast to new adventures. New adventures with old friends. Yes, in new locations. Okay. A big spite, a big bite. Mmm. Mm. Mm. See, you're not going to melt. Mm -mm. It's great. <laughs> oh. Love you. Love you too. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, we are at the end of Mudslides with Murphy. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you so much for 
letting me be a part of the last several years here at Mount Hermon. There are so many great people that work at Mount Hermon. I'm so sad that we didn't get a chance to interview all of them. Uh, secondly, it's, I'm really sad that I am done at Mount Hermon and I just want you to know that Mount Hermon asked for me to come and still be a part of the summer. Uh, but with my new adventure and everything that's happening, I had to make the hard choice that I, I, I can't be a part this summer. And then finally, my friends, I just wanna say thank you for allowing me to be a part of your Mount Hermon experience. It's been a true blast. And I really, there's only one thing left to say is, so long, farewell, Avidi Zane, adieu to you and you and even you. But uh, in true fashion, I am retiring my Mount Hermon jersey. It's been a blast. It's been fun. It'll be times that I've never, I will never forget. It's been a great run, Mount Hermon. Thanks so much. There's just so much more than point and click, isn't there? <laughs>